Hello friends! We made it. We made it to another year. Happy 2023. I hope this year holds all the things that you want it to and that you make it exactly what you need this next year to be. I love the feeling of like fresh starts and all those pieces and I have just been doing just a ton of reflecting on myself and 2022 was not by any stretch of the imagination a great year for me and I am ready to embrace something new. I have also been doing a lot of thinking about things that I struggle with and how I kind of keep myself in a constant cycle of it and almost use the things that I'm challenged with as excuses and I'm just going to make this year different. This is the year that I'm going to live my best and fullest vision of who I am at my best. And that's what I hope for all of you, no matter what that looks like or how it needs to manifest for yourself. I just want everyone to like move through this next year being their best self at their like highest vibration of who they are when they are at their best. And that's what I want for myself this year. And we all have the fresh start to do it. And that is just a beautiful gift of this time of year and something that I'm really looking forward to. There's something in my soul and in my heart and I feel like I've been given signs that 2023 is going to be a really, really great year. We are just hanging around the house. It has been like a rainy, dreary weekend. So we've been pretty, pretty chill. They have also been pretty, pretty chill. I go back to work on Monday the 9th, so I have had so much time off. So one of my goals has been reading more books and I have blown through four since the new year. I also am going to have to release my dining room like office setup that I've been using since probably the end of Vlogmas. All right, the four that I've read, I'll go in order. So for the second time, I read Michelle Obama, The Light We Carry. She actually had in an interview this necklace that said light and I actually got one for Christmas. Um, that's just like hers. I don't have it on today, but I was really excited about it. This book is so beautifully written and it's really nice to hear that the things that you have struggled with are things that other people have struggled with. And just the way that she has the ability to take things from her life and make it apply universally is just really, really profound. I had read this before the new year and I decided that this was the book I wanted to start my new year off again. So the second time I read it, I read it with a highlighter and pen in hand and I just, I adored it. The next book that I read was It Was Me All Along and it is from Andy Mitchell. She's like a famous blogger. Um, I follow her on Instagram, but I had never taken the time to read this book. And it is going through her weight loss journey and battle with an eating disorder. It's beautifully, beautifully written. There are some mixed feelings about this book, so I know it's not for everyone, but for me, I cried several times because I felt deeply connected to her and some of the situations and some of the feelings that she has had around her weight and her body image and just herself in general. So this book really resonated with me and it was the second one that I read. I did two nonfiction. It was time to jump into some fiction. I read The Other Birds. This book is so incredibly interesting and it's kind of hard to follow at first because there's lots of jumping around and there are lots of characters to keep track of. But Sarah Addison Allen does a beautiful job of developing characters so beautifully through the telling of their backstories and what has led them to this moment. It's a beautiful t story also about lost loved ones and releasing them and holding on to them. It's just a beautiful book, but maybe not for everyone. It deals with ghosts, um, kind of like mystical. I don't know if that's the right word. It's just very different. It's not a book I would typically read, but I'm so glad I did because I really enjoyed it. And the next book I read was The Dinner. It has also become a movie, but I have never seen it. But this story was originally in Dutch and it was translated in English. It is intense, for lack of a better word, read. It was dark. Uh, I found it quite triggering at times because there is not a single character in this book that is like good. So there's not someone that you can like cling to that is like good and going to drive the plot. They are all horrible humans. <laughs> 
but also deeply damaged because hurt people hurt people. And I think this is a beautiful telling of that, but it is dark. And once again, not for everyone, but I highly enjoyed it. I read it in about a day and a half. And my fifth book that I'm about to start, and I don't know how I have missed this, but I've seen it pop up on my Instagram feed and just in couple like snapshots of people reading it, it seems like it's very popular. It's called Carrie Soto is Back. It is about a tennis player who makes a comeback at the age of 37, and I just don't understand how I have not read it, but it was actually named one of the best books of 2022. We're going to give it a try. The reviews have been outstanding, so I'm excited to dive into this. This is the one we'll be starting today. I don't really know what we're going to get into today, and we are going to continue to ease our way into this new year. I have some meal prep to do, some dinner to make, and... Yeah, and I'm just glad I picked up the camera already in 2023. This is really about us resetting and really easing our way into 2023. So as you saw, my word for the year is manifest. It's really hard to see, but I had this bracelet made. I'll link the Etsy shop that made this bracelet for me, and it says manifest on it, and it just has, like, gold beads. I wanted something super simple. Also, I know someone will ask what's on my nails. We did, like, a galaxy, moon and stars, planets kind of thing. I am actually in the process of doing some meal prep. Steven just took the dogs for a quick walk. I'm gonna pull out my always pan. I do love this for steaming. I probably use it once or twice a week. What I love is it comes with this bamboo basket to steam and I make like a lot of dumplings or pot stickers. So I really, really get my use out of it. All right, I'm gonna steam some broccoli just so that is done. I'm just gonna get a jump on this, even though it's still early. <clears throat> and then I cleaned out all of these, but they're just meal prep containers. And I'm just doing brown rice. And then in my um, crock pot, I have some organic chicken going and I'm just going to shred it with some barbecue sauce and put that on top of the rice Put it in my meal prep containers call it a day I am going to season my broccoli with this chili lime seasoning blend I love it and then that I'm just gonna cut up to snack on so I already made a jump on my meal prep I also want to preface like this isn't like me trying to be on a diet. This is something I would normally prep for lunch It's just the fact that I'm actually prepping lunch <laughs> Uh, but this is something I have done in the past, just like a shredded barbecue chicken on top of brown rice and broccoli. It's just simple. But I made four, and then Stephen reminded me that I'm traveling the 11th and 12th this week. So Stephen can have some of these for dinner as well, which is perfect. And I overmade the chicken, so that's a good thing. He'll have some leftovers to eat. I wanted to share a bookmark, and I know that sounds so random, but I'm in love with it. I don't know about you, but I often buy bookmarks and never use them. I have only used this one since I got it and I need to share it with you guys. I got it on Etsy. I'll leave the shop linked below. It is this tiny triangle. I have mine monogrammed of like really nice leather. And then I got this print, but it just tucks over the corner of your book. I love it so, 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 so much. It is the first bookmark that I like consistently, consistently used. And I love that it just like fits over the corner of your book. So when you throw your book in something, it's just sticking out just a tad. I love it. I will leave the shop link below. I cannot say enough about how nice it is. So I have been working with a personal trainer and today is actually a rest day, but I'm allowed to do like any kind of like movement that I wanna do just for fun. So I think I'm just gonna go for a walk on my treadmill, like nice, easy, listen to some good music. I'm gonna finish this Alani New just cause I didn't have a great night's sleep last night. I need like a boost of energy to get through the rest of the day and all the things I wanna get done. So let's finish that, get our workout clothes on and get our bodies moving and circulating. Whether it is big workouts or just an easy walk, just move. All right, my workout is done. It was great, very easy, simple. I did like a walk run interval with some hills, kept it light and easy going, but 
got a good sweat, all of those things. I'm gonna eat my lunch now and then go get cleaned up. Steven had to run and do some work stuff. So I'm gonna eat some lunch, hang out with the dogs. It's a good reset day heading into work. I am all cleaned up and I also just finished journaling. My journal is from Amazon. It's this beautiful green leather bound journal. It was super reasonably priced. The paper quality is really nice and I really am liking it. I haven't missed a day. I have journaled every single day. I don't commit to a certain time. It's kind of when something strikes me that I want to write about. And I was doing a lot of reflecting while I was showering and I had some thoughts so I came down and just started writing them. And I think sometimes I try to explain myself <laughs> or what I'm thinking on the camera or to just friends and I have oftentimes an, a hard time articulating exactly how I feel. So sometimes it's easier for me to write. I love to write. Uh, everyone at work knows how much I love to write. I put so much thought into like every email I send. So I think for today's vlog, I wanna close out sort of how I closed out Vlogmas, and that is with a journal entry, and maybe that will become a thing that I do at the end of videos. It will hold me accountable for my journaling, but also um, give you a better glimpse of me, and I think that's one thing I'm really thinking about this year. So, this is today's journal entry. Well, my break is coming to a close. Tomorrow will be a strong dose of reality. I'm so grateful for this extended time I've had off. It has given me time to pause and truly reflect about years past and the one that has freshly started. I want to be happy, truly happy. I feel I've spent my life trying to stay small to almost be invisible. I've used my mental health and struggles as a security blanket. I've used them to keep me from playing big in my own life. If you don't go for it, you can't be disappointed. In almost every aspect of my life, I can give concrete examples of where I've played small. I live by the motto that holding the status quo is enough, but it's not. It's not enough for me. I want more. I want to take risks. I want to take on challenges. I want to see what is possible and what I accomplish when I fully commit to my dreams and aspirations. No more excuses. No more sitting in the back hoping for opportunity to come. I make the opportunities. I manifest my dreams, not just for this year, but for my life. I get to choose to step into the stadium and swing. I get to play big. If it doesn't all work out, that's fine. But at least I tried. This year, I take the chance and bet on myself. I like my odds of winning. I think I have been really feeling, probably for the last six months, that I've really not lived up to my potential or all that I'm capable of, both here on this channel and in my work life and in so many other aspects of my life, I have kind of played small. I think where I could say that I've like won the most is definitely my relationship with Steven, but I feel like I hold myself back and I am so grateful to have a partner who is constantly cheering me on, but I have to believe in myself. And this is the year where I truly want to step out of my security blankets that I hold up <laughs> at all times and take a chance and be okay if it doesn't work out the way I want, but know that I have created the opportunities and that eventually the doors will open. I'm excited for this year and I don't know if I have been this excited or this reflective and thoughtful going into one. I am excited to be present with all of you throughout this coming year. That is my promise. And I am excited to see where it takes us. With that, I'm going to end this vlog like I have ended so many. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. 
Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time. Bye-bye.